What's up guys, this is Massey, welcome to another video. In this video I want to show you how to draw a loose structure for CH2O or formaldehyde or it's also called methanol. So the first thing we need to do, we need to identify the central atom which is usually the element with the highest bonding capacity. So we have carbon here, we have hydrogen and we have oxygen. The valence electrons for carbon is 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, hydrogen is 1, oxygen is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So the bonding capacity of carbon is 4, bonding capacity of hydrogen is 1, and bonding capacity of oxygen is uh, actually 2 because here we have 1 and 2 here so that's 2 so since carbon has the largest number or highest number of uh, bonding capacity that's going to be the central atom so we place it like C H H and O then we need to add up the number of valence electrons available in an atom of each of the elements. So total number of electrons is going to be 4 plus 2 times 1 plus 6. It's going to be 12. Now what we need to do, we need to place one pair of electrons between each adjacent pair of atoms and every two of these dots represents a bonding electron pair that forms a single covalent bond. One, two, one, two, one, two. So these are going to be the bonding pair. Next step would be place pairs of the remaining valence electrons as lone pairs on the surrounding atoms only. Surrounding atoms. And we need to follow the duet rule for hydrogen atoms and we need to use the octet rule for other atoms. So here we have hydrogen, this that follows duet rule, it has two electrons so we are okay. But here we have oxygen, for oxygen we need to place lone pairs, one, two, one, two, one, two, as you see it here. Then next step would be determine how many electrons are still available by subtracting the number of electrons you have used so far from the total number of valence electrons. So number of available electrons is going to be 12 minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 times 2, 12. So there is no more available electrons. Now we need to see if every element like C and O follow octet rule. For carbon we have 2, 4, 6 so it doesn't follow octet rule right now and oxygen 2, 4, 6, 8 so we are okay with the oxygen. So what we need to do here we don't have any available electron but we need to since doesn't have a full octet we need to move lone pair from oxygen to the carbon in order to have octet rule for full octet for carbon so it's going to be c o h h this remains the same here instead of two electrons it's going to be four electrons and we have two lone pairs here and at the end, we need to replace shared electrons with dash. So it's going to be C, H, H, double bond, oxygen, two lone pairs in here. So that's going to be the loose structure of methanol or formaldehyde. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave me a comment if you have any question. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You can have access to many other videos regarding math, chemistry, and physics. Thank you for watching and have a great day.